Hey guys! I'm Rom of Common Room and welcome to another episode on Common Room's YouTube channel. So today, I'm going to give you a glimpse behind the feet. Mga stuff that I did for Feb to show you how projects are completed, etc. So, yung mga behind the scenes. Kung baga kung ano nangyayari sa feed, it's always more than that, right? We wanted to share that part of the process with you through my life. <laughs> through my very busy life. Today, I'm going to work while I'm telling you what happened for my entire February para mukha talaga siyang slice of free life. Um, supposedly, dapat ang format is habang nagwa-work ako, Nagbablog ako, etc. Pero parang impossible yun, guys. Kasi I'm juggling so many things and adding vlogging on the plate while I'm working is something I can't really do. Right now, I'm here at the studio. It's a Saturday. So, wala akong kasama sa studio. Which is good because I'm shy and I can't vlog while our staff is here. So, I'm in the couch area and the real scene that's happening here is look at our color <laughs> we're preparing for a livelihood project with local government this is pop chunk love so we're preparing oh my gosh i'm so shy hold on hold on here we've lined up all the contents of the kit para siguradong walang makakaligtaan sa laman ng kits so isa yon sa mga nangyayari Aking life. Saturday, I'm still working. So let's go outside. Say hello to my husband. Pinatid niya kami sa studio. Okay. Nandito lang siya para sumama siya sa merienda namin. My sister, Celia, who's taking over my photography work right now for the web shop. Dahil nga, kailangan kong mag-vlog. For a multitasker, ang galing na hindi ko kayang mag-vlog and mag-work at the same time. So, big personal move. Feb, lumipat na kami ng house. We transferred to a space near the studio, aka my parents' house. <laughs> Para mas malapit kami sa studio. Another day, another hakot. So Feb was a big move for us so we can do more work at the studio and that includes a lot of home improvement because we had to fit our entire life in my old room at the parents' house. Maraming paglilinis na naganap ng Feb. That's going to be a separate episode, of course. A room makeover. A lot of my studio work involves fixing our existing assets aka kalat <laughs> so we can either keep it or donate it or throw it away and as much as possible sana hindi namin siya itapon but life we just need to let go of some stuff okay since it's feb there's a lot of valentine's preparation for the stores may pagbibisitang naganap Despite the quarantine, syempre, we really need to go check up on the spaces. So, kikita nyo na I usually tinutuhog namin yan. We go to Rockwell and then Glorieta and then Ayala Bay and then we go to Alabangtang Center. When I go to the stores, usually it's such a big deal for me personally, even if it's work. Dahil, minsan lang talaga ako lumabas. Masaya naman siya. Kahit talagang tuhog, talagang parang field trip talaga sa Metro Manila ang ginagawa ko. There, um, I'm fixing the displays, I'm taking photos for social media when I'm in the store, fixing the flower display, etc. So that's one big thing that happened for Feb. So studio work, as I mentioned earlier, maraming paglilinis. Of course, every week there's a new fixture being added. So you, you're going to see us fixing the pegboards. Since tapos na kaming mag condo ng mga kalat namin, we were able to somehow identify craft tools that we wanna keep. Guys, tingnan yung kalat na kailangan kong gawin. 
kalat. Oh my gosh. Kunwari lang maayos yung studio, pero hindi pa siya maayos. And oh my gosh, I'm out of trouble. Break? Because Ate Sel is asking me something. Magkaiba sila ng milk tea. Milk tea? Oh, oh my gosh. Tapos, dalawa yung maybe. Okay. Eh, yun na lang yung list natin po. Oh my god. Sorry, hindi talaga akong mag-vlog. Nakagano'n lang pa yung video. <laughs> That's why I usually set up a station outside when I'm working and doing admin stuff. So that when Atisel has a question, I can easily answer because I'm just near. Let me fix this. Dahil maraming garden sa studio. Uh, maraming rin yung sekto. Guys, sobrang dami. Hindi ko siya makwento. Of course, every time I visit the studio, we know that the Pop Junk Club team is already at the studio. So, I'm checking patterns, dolls that were already sewn, yung mga custom orders. Ate Celia and I need to check if okay na siya, the placement of the eyes, before we give the go signal to stitch it for the last time on the doll. And then yung mga exciting part, which is... The dolls that I really want to make for so the, for this month, I did a new collection for Pop Junk Club. My little Soju babies. Hopefully, by the time you see the episode, it's already launched. What else? What else? What else? Most of the stuff that we do here at the Sudo is also taking photos for products, so it's web work. So bendami guys. Gusto niyo ba makita yung list ng nangyari ng Feb? Oh wait. Ayan po ang lahat ng videos na nangyari sa Feb. We also have a lot of collaborations with the Department of Trade and Industry. So we're coordinating directly with the Go Local team. We're very thankful because we still have a collection with them even if it's a pandemic. So it's a really great help for our young makers. We really thank um, DTI Go Local for the trust. And another exciting project soon. I think it's a super exciting project. I'm not sure if we'll be able to announce now. Kasi baka mauna yung video, so I won't tell it na lang. But it's super exciting. So we're constantly meeting Go Local and DTI officials to have the concept approved. So really excited. Our young makers, our small businesses, our community of artists will be tapped to create that very special collection that hopefully we get to share soon. Basically, most of my Feb went to those meetings as well. So, maraming back and forth. Despite the pandemic, of course, parang mahirap mag-plan, mga expansion plans and stuff. So, marami ring ocular na nangyayari for different spaces. I guess, I just don't want to close our doors to those opportunities even if you know, we really can't afford it. We really can't afford it. But kapit lang, tiwala lang. Baka naman, hindi natin alam. So, those are the things that I still do despite my our current limitations. Uh, yun, ocular, checking spaces, getting ourselves excited. And hopefully, those excitement trickle to our community then. Ganyan. You know, like a mother hen for the community. It's really important to always check in on yourself then. How are you feeling? Ganyan. Because if you're not, you know, feeling inspired and well, you're not sane anymore. <laughs> you're going crazy. Probably it will also reflect on your community, your plans and projects, etc. Of course, dagdag itong vlogging. <laughs> sa kailangan kong gawin. So, makikita nyo na we also had a lot of meetings for our content. You're going to see me in a Zoom meeting with some of the roomies for one of our episodes. You can check that out. Creative Spaces in Manila. We've already shown it. I hope you can check that out as well. Those are the things that I'm doing also. I'm juggling for Feb. Ang dami palang nangyari ng Feb. When I'm checking my screen, nakaka overwhelm siya sa sobrang dami. And then, in case you're wondering, in a day, sobrang daming nangyayari. I'm juggling all of these things at once. Hindi pa rin ako yung tipong, let's just do one big thing today. 
hindi talaga ako ganun, guys. I really need to do a lot of different things for all those different things to move in a day or else I can finish one big task but the rest will stop. So, iniiwasan ko yung ganong system especially now that I'm still trying to get settled in my new workspace, in my new system, in my routine, in my new space. So, talagang really juggling everything lang. And paano ko ginagawa yon? So, I'm going to show you my notebook. I'm still an analog kind of girl. Hindi ko talaga kaya ng digital. So, hindi ko kaya yung mga Google calendars, etc. I really write down everything to the simplest task. I write it down. Like, for example, even paying bills, I write it down. Even my K-drama episodes, I write it down. I did a new thing this year, which is I also write the personal things I did on top of work. It's my way of reminding myself that I did more than just work the days. Yun. I just really write down everything so that I don't forget it because I'm thinking of so many things and most likely I'll forget about it. So instead of always trying to think what I need to do next, I just look at my notebook, check what I need to do, take it off as soon as possible, try to stick to my schedule. But of course guys, that's the ideal world. In the real world, I'm not able to always finish everything or always be on time. Sometimes guys, Friday na. Pero ginagawa ko pa rin yung Tuesday work. So, ganun siya kalala minsan. So, there. Hopefully, if you haven't found pa your system, your productivity system, or how you organize things, your work in a week, hopefully, my system can help you. You can try that out. So, you just really write it down to the laundry, to the show that you're going to watch. Maybe it works for you as well. Because... I'm sure it doesn't work for everyone. <laughs> That's it. Sabi nga ng sister ko, nakaka-overwhelm ang aking sistema. But it works for me. So there, I write it down. I feel accomplished every time I highlight something. And then, I write personal things as well on that little space for the day. Again, to remind me that I did more than work today. So, that's my fab. This is going to be... I think it's going to be a regular in the channel. Paano ko ba hirihan to? Oh my gosh. Like, subscribe, comment. If you have suggestions, hopefully you got something from my life. See you next month.